Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mows. In today's episode we're going to be doing, uh, going back to the Atco Fly Mow one more time, or the Atco Airborne B19 uh, Hover Mow, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, so far you would have seen me come, it coming as a part of the job lot where the engine was seized and then the part 2 video where I've managed to free the engine off, get it turning um, and inspected the ignition system because it's not sparking. Uh, so that's where we are. Um, I've now taken purchase of a new condenser and a new set of points. So we're going to try and install those today, retrofit the condenser and put a new set of points in, set them up to where they should be. And hopefully we'll get a spark. If we don't get a spark from there, um, I think we're going to have to call it a day because I cannot, I cannot find a coil for this machine anywhere. Can't get one. If anyone's got a coil system for an airborne B19, feel free to email me up. But... I cannot find one, um, hen's teeth don't exist. So that's where we are. Before we get on, I had a little sticker come in. I've been waiting for this for a little while. This sticker's come in from Franco the Boss. They are Franco, there's your little shout out for you buddy boy. He sent two or three of these over from Australia. Uh, he's a young lad, uh, does the same as what we do uh, in the small engine world. So go and check out Franco the Boss and let him know that Mix Mowers have sent you over there to go and check him out. He does lots of good little bits and pieces, does some lives on Instagram as well. So go and check him out, good little lad. So that's what we're going to be doing, the um, Airborne B19, try and get the spark if we can today. And then hopefully if it sparks and we've got enough time to, within this video, we'll try and fire it up and see how we get on from there. If this is your first time in watching Mixed Mowers, hit the subscribe button, whack your bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told when I've done a video or two, I'm on my Saturday night wiki live stream, which starts at 6.30pm the time. So without further ado, let's get down dirty and let's check out this Atco Airborne B19 Hover Mower. <laughs> Okay, so one Atco Airborne B19 on the old deck. Um, as you remember, I had the head off of this inspector board. It's it's okay, you know, it's it's, it's possible. However, uh, we shall see when we finally get onto it. The carburetor is absolutely filthy. Can't even see the carburetor, so that will have to come off as well at some point because there was fuel inside this tank, and this has been sat for about ten years. So the fellow reckon, so that's cool. So as you know, we've got a condenser here, set of points hither. Uh, what we're going to do, I've got a new set of points here, a new set of points, sorry, and a new condenser here. So what we're going to do is we're going to undo this condenser. Now there's two wires. Uh, what happens is you've got one wire goes from the bottom of a condenser, comes up round onto this double leg, transfers, comes back and goes onto the coil. Now you wanna go, you're going to want to cut the wire that comes off the bottom of the condenser, but at this end, okay? So let's just, just clarify that one more time. The condenser is here, you have one wire comes up from underneath the condenser, which is this one here, up and over, and it goes onto here, and it then twins onto another connection, and then goes back on itself, and goes back under the coil. It is the condenser wire you want to cut at this end, okay? Hope that makes sense. <clears throat> so, undo your condenser, which is a little tiny flat-headed driver just there. We'll undo that little tiny flat headed screw or bolt. Let's put that down there. And then the wire coming off, it's going to be this wire here you want to cut that comes down under here and onto here. So let me just undo this and I'll cut the wire and I'll show you what I mean. Right, so I have now just cut that wire and this is what it looks like uh, when it's all set up. So there's your condenser and that went into here. Okay, bom bom bom, like that. I've just cut that wire off, and this other wire comes all the way around and sits underneath a coil, okay? So cut your condenser wire off, you don't need that. That's now gone. We can now get our new condenser out. Where's this one? There's a little tiny um, earth tab here, which has got to go on, and this is going to go on. Let me just figure this out. Uh, take that wire out of the way. That's going to go on about there, maybe no, that way around, it goes that way around, Nick, that's it. It goes that way around the wire coming out the bottom of a condenser. That then sits all in there together like so. And you're then going to put that little tiny screw or bolt back in, top of condenser, through the little tiny earth tab, and through and do that one up just there. Okay. That's what we're going to do next. 
So we'll do that up. That then sits down into there nice and tight. Okay. New condenser wire that is set up into there. We need both these wires now. And now we'll remove a set of points. And there's a little tiny flat headed bolt in here. We'll undo that. I think they looped. And get hold of it. And get my magnet. Not being quite so quite so free with my little with my little fingers. Get Riley boy down here. He's in the house at the moment, it's too cold for him to come out. So that's better. Use a magnet. That goes down there out of the way. So now um little screwdriver and just pry these set of points up. That comes off that tab just there, that all comes up together. Just have a little pry, there it goes. Out comes your set of points. Yeah, they're well, yeah, they're well, yeah, well scorched up them points, they're no good for nothing. So we'll take them points out. New set of points. Rip. You're dropping no bits now, Mick. Oh, right, new set of points. Now, these points, very, very simply, uh, this little tiny uh, pivot arm on the bottom sits inside the little tiny hole just here. Okay, let me just uh, put the points together. So you've got two, one point there, one point there. Sorry, one point there. And all you want to do is just fit them together. Oh, hang on, someone at the door. Sorry about that, that was a Nana at the door. So these set of points, uh, they're going to go on like so, in that, in that orientation, and they come apart, okay? So what you can do, is you can just put this one down into a hole so it sits, okay, into its place, and then get this other kitty and just put it over the top of a tab, this brass tab, sit it over top of that. It's going to be about there, and then bend this round, and then it all sits down together. And that way you then know that those set of points are correct. Now what we're going to do now is now going to link all this up together, get rid of the wiring first so it's not sitting there hanging. We're going to put this one on first, which is the one that came from the coil to the earth wire. We're then going to bring the new coil wire, a new condenser wire in. I might turn him around to get a bit of a better connection. And then we're going to put this earth lead on as well. So there's three leads now on their total, okay? Uh, a little tiny washer. We'll hold all that down together. And then this little tiny nut here will then do up. So now we've got three wires on there. Whilst that's just loosely done up, we can then just realign these wires because that cable there, that's going to want to go underneath that lot, that wire, so I can redo it back up without bending too much. That's got to go all the way up and over somehow. There with, that's it. That's what we go all the way over there. A bit later on, that's better. Right, so now we can orientate these wires so they're nice and tidy out of the way, like so. And then do up this little tiny connection just here. And then that's that's then points then fitted, however, not yet set. So do that up nice and tight, not too tight so it snaps obviously. It's got to be snugged down so that we uh, we get good connections. That'll do for now. Right, let me reposition you and I'll show you how I set these points. Okay, I've just positioned the camera where I think it's going to be best. I'll do a bit, a bit of pointing so we know what's going on. So as I say, set of points just here. And here is your cam lobe. Now, as you can see or not see, I'll just turn the blade ever so slightly if I can find it. Okay, here. So you'll see there's actually an arrow on this uh, cam lobe just down here. Let me get a pointer, it be easier. Little tiny arrow, that tells you the, the, uh, the direction. And that cam lobe is highest at one point, it's actually a cam. So it's actually highest there, and that's where you want it set on top of here, but you want it a top dead center. So next I'm gonna do is put a screwdriver into a bore, and I'm gonna bring the bore up to top dead center. That's all the way past there. That's going all the way down, coming back, coming back. That's gonna be about there, I'd say, that's top dead. As you can see, top dead is on the beginning of a lobe 
on, on this set of points just here. Okay, so it's, it's actually where it needs to be. So it's roughly at the highest point. It's just before, okay, which is fine for me. I might just go just a touch more, just for argument's sake, to about there, okay? So that's your top dead centre. Now what you want to do, you now want to set these points. So you want to get that little tiny screw, uh, which goes into the point set just here. And get it going, that's it there. And we're just going to slowly wind that down just to sort of just just grips the points okay nothing more than that just so it seats them okay so now you can see that these set of points they're not there's a massive gap here okay massive gap here for points that's no good to us we want the points to be roughly roughly closed and then just pull them back open again ever so slightly and now what we want to do we now want to measure that to around about 20 foul now i know it's 20 foul because I spoke to my old mate, I don't know if you know him, he's got teeth like a picket fence. Um, and he's got, he's got eyes like an otter. Um, I spoke to my mate Terrell, fixes all, and he said, yeah, 20 foul will do it. Um, also, Bruce Pender, Bruce's shop confirmed that as well. 20 foul will do it. So I've got me, uh, my feeder gauges from Mr. Mr. B. So you'll go 20 foul, slide it in between the points. There's a little tiny cutout groove just here for your feeder gauge to sit into. So just slide that in, okay, and then push your point shut. And what you might want to do here is just literally just take a little quarter of a turn up on these and give it a little tiny push in just so you know you've got your 20 foul and it's just gripping it okay the more friction you have on this bolt the better that'd be about right there i think we're happy with that so leave your point leave your feeler gauge in there make sure it's nice and level and then do that little tiny bolt up that yeah there's a little bit of drag there not quite enough drag for me so i'm gonna undo it again a little tiny bit push up point system over because it's, it's going to be it's going to be um ominous because when you when you adjust these your hands moving on your on your feeler gauges that feels about right we like that yeah a bit of drag there that's what you want so now do them up bomb so now, when we now rotate this engine, you're looking for these points to open and close in the right position. Let's see if we've got it, or we have to come back. So that's closed, coming around, and now watching the points to open, and then not. So I go back to the top of the cam lobe again. I dare say what happened there is I actually, um, push the points too far over so it is a bit of a faff so undo them again you want this up against the up against the cam and then your points to be set it's a bit of a four-handed job so push this part here this one up against the cam push your points shut with your feeler gauge in and what you can do, if you're quite lucky, is take that take that feeder gauge out. Because as I say, the, the, the more you move it, the more you're going to be out. I'm just pushing that point set over, with it still set against the cam lobe. Let's try that. So the points are now open, which <coughs> is what you want. And now, as we rotate it, points are now closed here. Did you see that movement just there? The points are now closed. We go all the way around. We're coming back around to where the, where the high point is about to meet, which is going to be there. That's where it's about to meet. And if you, if you now watch this set of points just here, you'll see these points open. There they go. See that, see that motion? There's the motion you're after. And that's roughly set at 20 foul. I've got it set roughly where it needs to be there. Just gonna get my feeler gauge. Yeah, I can get it in there. Yeah, that's good. So that's how you set your points. Once that's now set, what we can now do is put these wires back. I'll just double check that is down tight. We don't want to be mucking with that anymore today. Yeah, that's okay. I then want to get um, a little tiny gasket. That goes on there. That covers your points up, keeps them nice and clean and tidy. And then this little kitty here, uh, think, make, think, make. 
and it goes onto there. And then this wire comes all the way around, clips down onto there. Pushes wires in so they're nice and tidy and out of the way. You got nice and low because the old flywheel's going to be whizzing around here. Something like that would be okay. Um, now what we can do is we can now put the flywheel back on. The keyway back in first, obviously. Put your flywheel back on. Put your um, your little tiny your little tiny cup on. I've got a magnet here, which is not really helping matters. Magnet. Your little tiny cup on as well, don't forget that goes on top of the fly. We'll put that all on and then I'll come back once I've done that. Right, what I decided to do in the end is actually show me put the fly back on because maybe some people don't know how to do it and what have you, so why cut corners? So, um, with your points covered out all on, your condenser now fitted and what have you, and points now set to 20 foul. Get your keyway that slides in a little tiny groove on the, on the crankshaft. That slides into there. Get your flywheel, little tiny groove on your flywheel, just there, and that will then correspond with your with your uh, keyway. It's a bit tricky. Line it up best you can. Give it a bit of a wiggle, and eventually it should just sit itself down. There it goes, like so. You can get a little soft blow hammer or a mallet if you like. Just give that a little bit of a seat. And then you want your cup. Give it a little bit of a twist. You see how that see how that sat down on itself. So it's moving there. Give it a twist, and it will just sit down on its own. And then you want your your nut to go on top of that. I don't want to done with that. There it is. Uh, the nut has got a chamfer on one end of it. Okay, which is which goes in first. Let's sink that on onto there. And I use an impact to do mine. You can use a breaker bar. Just be careful with the blade underneath where you're sitting. So now we can now test for spark. Now, best thing to do is to get your get your spark plug, which is here, which I've put a new boot on, as you see there. It will have a proper boot fitted to it at some point. But now you want to try and manipulate your your plug so it sits up onto something aluminium or aluminium. Um, so you can then test for spark. So a bit of jiggly pokery. And uh, we're we we'll try and get it try and get it to sit somewhere half sensible here, if we can, without it moving too far. It's gonna be easier said than done, Mick. So the natural wants to naturally wants to fight you all the time because it's decumpsy, and that's what decumpsies do. Oh, there you go, do us. Oh, nearly. Try and wedge that in there. That's better. Right, okay. So now. We're looking for a spark here. Let me zoom me right in, see if we don't get a spark. Right, I've got you as close as I can as I can do it. I can't get much closer than that. So just make sure that your throttle lead is onto power, not onto turn off, because that would be a shame. Um, I've then got me my drill. I'm looking to turn this, um, turn this machine over. Just be wary that where the deck is overhanging, just make sure that the blade is not exposed or is it'll whack you in the legs, and that really hurts, apparently. Um, <clears throat> So now look at the spark under the spark plug. I haven't yet tested it. This is a, a live, uh, not live, but it's recorded. You know what I mean? This is the first time doing it. So we've got a point set up, flywheel back on. This had no spark beforehand. So let's now try and turn it and see what we get. No spark. Okay. It could be the points, points need to be regapped, or it's not touching, not touching the casing right. Let's try and get it in here if we can. Let's try it there. Yeah, baby, that was a spark. Did you see that? I saw it. Let's try it again. Keep an eye out for it. There you go. See that sparking? I can see it sparking. There you go, spark. So. I don't want to wind it over too much because it is a two-stroke machine and there's not a lot of oil in that bore because I, uh, I did put some in, but um, obviously it's, uh, it, it starts to um, come out and what have you, so I don't want to run it over too much. So anyway, we have spark, that's confirmed. New set of points, new condenser, fix that. The carburetor has got to be done because the carburetor around here, I'll show you in two ticks, is absolutely disgusting. Um, 
I dread to even think what's in there. There's just so much stuff underneath here, just pulling all sorts of stuff out. So um, if it's dirty outside, it'd be dirty inside. Got a story about that. Um, anyway, so um, what we do is now is um, I'm going to put the cowling all back on. And then we'll go outside and have a little fire up, shall we? See if we can't just put some juice down the old head and we'll go from there just to confirm it, it's got it's got a combustion chamber in there that actually works. If it don't, I think that, that's where the road will end for this little machine. But if we get it just to pop, then we will carry on. But if it don't pop, then I think I think that's as far as we have to go with it. Okay, I've got you all set up. I haven't tried firing it up at all anyway, shape or form. All I've done is remove the HT lead, so I've got um, some 25 to 1 fuel mix made up there. Plug is loose and clean. So let's put a bit of a bit of mix in it. And we'll see what we don't get, shall we? Hopefully it'll fire. That's a theory. If it don't fire, I don't want to do it. No idea. Bit of that goes in. Do that up. Put the old plug in. Nick that up. So all I want to do is make a noise. That's all I want to do. Nothing else than that. HT lead back on. Which I think is there. Yeah, that's on. Right, here we go then. First fire up. Let's see what it does, people. It popped. Let's go one more time. It did pop. I heard it. Getting a bit excited now, Mick. Calm yourself down. Have we saved this little old engine? Let me do that cap up first. Put a fuel in. Now, don't to say that it's actually just just got enough to fire, and the engine is actually done. That, that's, a, that's that's a problem. We don't yet know that yet, but, but it did actually fire, which is good. Let's try one more time. That throttle lever's not brilliant either. for me that tells me it's going to run so we can now progress in the next video you'll see me uh take the carburetor off give a carburetor a full clean put a tank back on all that sort of good stuff i shan't do in this video because the video will be too long but it came from um a little job lot completely seized now freed up um no spark new condenser new um set of points gap correctly and it now actually fires. So now we can now progress. I'm super happy because I've got the other one, the Allen, which did actually run for a little while, but again, I think it needs carburetor cleaning or what have you. So yeah, super, super happy. Okay, so there you go. That's the Atco Airborne B19, now passed its part two video um, and actually fired twice. So I am super happy. There's no, there's no telling without doing a compression tester actually what compression there is on the machine, but it did fire and without compression, it wouldn't. So I'm gonna, precariously move forward and um, take the carburetor off now and uh, give a tank a flush and the carburetor is absolutely filthy and it's been sat for 10 years so it's got to say the carburetor is doing and there was fuel inside the tank when um, when it came to me so um, that's got to be cleaned I'll probably get an ultrasonic clean as well at the same time whilst I'm there just make sure it's done right 
and then hopefully in the next video you'll see the carburetor being cleaned and then um, progressing onto a fully working machine and it should run and do everything that it should do and eventually float on that nice little cushion of air that, that they all do. I'm super happy because the Allen and the Flymo and the uh, Atco both came to me as uh, non-running and already I've got the, yeah, the Allen running to a degree. Uh, but what wants more work, uh, won't run off its own back, um, and the, uh, the ATCO is actually see solid. So we've, we've done quite well. Unseized it, new condenser, new set of points, all, all gap correctly. Thank you very much, Tarrell, my old picket fence um, friend. Uh, much appreciated for that. So that's now all done, and hopefully we can move on to, to the next segment, which will be uh, yeah, getting the machine actually up and running and then eventually getting it sold. It'll be brilliant. Super, super happy. If this is your first time watching Mixed Mowers, hit the subscribe button, whack your bell, set the notification to all. That way you'll be told one done a video or two. I'm on my Saturday night wiki live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mowers very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, much more importantly, take care easy.